Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome our customer from the architecture, engineering and construction segment. Please welcome Faisal E. Kotikolon, founder and chairman, KEF Holdings. Thank you. So, so the guys that came before, very well-known names, uh, they really don't need any introduction. But, you know, Faisal runs a three-year-old company, and when you see the work that he's doing, you'll figure out why he's up on stage here. But let me not steal your thunder. Let, tell us something about what you do, about KEF as a, as a, as a group. Thank you, Autodesk. Uh, thank you, Pradeep, for inviting me for this wonderful event. I'm new to India. I'm only three years old. He um, needs my life and career started in the United States. Uh, uh, I'm an engineer by profession, industrial engineer, and I started my career uh, in the foundry world, which as you all know, that is a very tough industry, uh, 1,600 degrees C. I was an industrial engineer here, there in Philadelphia, dark, uh, no one wants to come into that industry. And uh, when I finished my stint in Inductotherm in US, I wondered why people don't use technology to transform these basic industries. So I started my career in United Arab Emirates in Dubai, and I started building a foundry, and my passion at that time was to transform this red category industry, to use technology to make it a green industry. I started with a capital of $5,000. Eventually, this company was sold in 2012 to Tyco. I think one of the Raychem was partner with Tyco for a billion dollars. And the reason is the industry was making those valves or a castings. It takes 24 to 36 weeks. I use a company called Magma Simulations, Magma Soft in Germany. We could bring it down from 24 weeks to eight days, okay, and use automation and in a clean environment. That is what brought me the success of that business to India. And I always believe, like we've seen the earlier presentation, technology is used more in the virtual world. I believe that technology should be used in the, in real, the real world. world. And a country like us, where we have 500 million people don't have food to eat, we have shortage of 50 million homes, we have 3 million hospital beds is running short in the country. And I thought I should come to country where I was born and to do something about it. So the concept what we are doing now is using and working with Autodesk to go away from constructing buildings to manufacture buildings. So this particular factory is one and a half away from Bangalore, a place called Krishnagiri. And uh, we started uh, 2014, uh, November 30th. We are a three-year-old company. And we have done a lot of work, which I would like to run through you. OK, so tell us about what you're doing at this factory where you actually, as you talked about, manufacturing buildings. Correct. What do you mean by manufacturing buildings? So I started my career with the government of Kerala to transform a government school to make it better than a private school. Because today, 90% of our Indian students goes into a government school where the infrastructure is very, very poor. So we picked up the school where 2,450 girls were studying. And government told me one condition. You have to do the transformation in 60 days. Uh, because it's a government school, you cannot lose one day of a class. So we have to use imagination. And uh, we Sorry. used BIM, Building Information Modeling from Autodesk. We designed the entire school in Denmark. Uh, I was based in Dubai at that time. We moved five people into India. And we built a 60,000 school in 95 days total. And we opened the school. Did you just say 60,000 schools in 95 no. days? No, 60,000 square foot 60, school. 60,000 square feet school. And in the interesting story is that once school is transformed, the entire confidence of government schools in Kerala, we have done around 68 schools today in this last three years. And, <laughs> and we are working with the current government to do 1,000 more schools. And that is the change we can make it happen in a country like us use technology. 
And how I was able to do that? Yeah, let's, let's talk about the how. I mean, this is the, the what you were doing, but how, how does, and, and you talked about how Revit enables you to do that. So how does, it, how, how does it happen? Yeah, like I've done in my Valve industry, the design is to take out of 24 weeks, 12 weeks. Mm -hmm. And I used to ask myself, why 12 weeks to design a Valve? It's very simple. It should be done in hours. Same thing if you want to do a project in India. Anything is less, not less than two years. So normally people told me, the school will take two years. I said, why? Today we have great tools like uh, Autodesk uh, with building information modeling. We have to use a lot of robotics. And what you see in my factory is the interface from the drawing to the machines directly. Can you show us that? Sure. So this particular factory is uh, on 42 acres. So we manufacture every element of the building, whether it's concrete, wood, aluminum, glass, steel, and uh, it's all done with robotics. So we design the buildings and automatically it's transferred to the machines using robotics. So you build it in Revit and you send it to the, to the machine straight to be away. manufactured? Yeah, straight away. Okay. So we are the few companies in India, we use LOD 500. Mm -hmm. So we just not use only for the design, we use it to construct or manufacture in the factory and assemble at the site. So this is, uh, so anything above the foundation, every element comes from the factory. And the greatest, exa greatest example for Bangaloreans over here is the famous Indira canteen you would see has popped up uh, on a daily basis. And that is done in our factory. So we have done, We have done six canteens a day. Six canteens a day? day. Yeah. Did, you, did you hear that, guys? Six canteens a day. And gentlemen, we feed 198,000 meals a day today. And now we've been asked the government to do this across Karnataka. And we got the order day before yesterday. We have already built seven in Mysore. <laughs> so this is how it's been built. Uh, and you see this is a robotic... Uh, from our factory, so it makes 150 wall panels a day. It's straight from the design, it goes into the robots and takes the shuttering and just click it, tuck, 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 and goes into the production line. There are only 21 people working in this particular line, and you can make 6,000 uh, 6, square foot in a shift. That means 12,000 square foot of panels in a day. So these are the concrete are transported. And also the, the entire uh, automation is done in the concrete batching plant, okay. where the signal goes. We have seen a lot of your sensors, and we use all of them in our factory and transport it automatically into the, the distributor, and we get the panels out in a few hours. So it's all steam cured. So we do every concrete strength is much superior to the current conventional construction. You want to show us a, a project that you've done? Um, sure. The, the hospital one that we were discussing yesterday? Yes. So the challenge, uh, you know, we are very late to adopt technologies uh, in our country. So a lot of people warn me, Faisal, no one is going to accept, uh, you know, buildings done in days and months. Uh, I said, uh, what do I do? Because I've invested $100 million in my facility, and I was... I decided to build a hospital in my hometown. And this hospital is, uh, is operational now. It is built in 18 months in a single shift operations. It's 400,000 square foot, 211 beds. And this is how we build the hospital. Every element is produced in our factory in Krishnagiri, transported to Kerala, and assembled at the site. So you can see all elements comes parallelly. The walls comes with the fitted windows. And this is the slabs. And you can see the, the modular MEP systems. So it's a click technology. So what we are using is every element has to go seamlessly and integrate one to the other. So you can see that every floor we completed in seven days. <laughs> this is a finished product. Uh, I would uh, invite all of you to come to Calicut. It's a beautiful place. Uh, you will see the finishes. Uh, and the concept of this hospital is hospital. It's, you know, we are in a healthcare, 
uh, we need to use our architecture designs to calm ourselves because we go to hospital fully stressed. And I told my architect, which is based uh, uh, Bangalore, KGD, Najib Khan, uh, and um, we said, you know, this natural, natural ventilation, you know, natural light has to come into the hospital. Uh, every ICU is an individual suite. Now today, India's major challenge is two things. One is infection control because we don't design the hospital uh, and everything goes in a single corridor where food and patients and visitors. So today we have demarcated everything separately for that. These are standard rooms. Every element went out of the factory. So the total manpower on the construction site was 60 people. That's it. So you're not just delivering this in, in this compressed time frame, you're all, also delivering great quality with wonderful design. Fantastic. So see, normally you see a lot of people told me, Faisal, is this a real photo? You know, or uh, you created or something, something that, uh, uh, like earlier present, virtual yeah. reality. Yes. Um, <laughs> this is real. You know, I, th I think it's worth visiting our factory. And I'll show you some projects what you have done in Bangalore. Uh, this is a new project for Infosys. They moved in last evening. At 3 o'clock was the official inauguration. Uh, this was built in 15 months, end to end. Again, every element is uh, produced, the bathrooms, the restrooms. And here we use the radiant cooling system. Uh, it's a LEED certified building, 30% less energy than the conventional buildings. And everything modularized. So gentlemen, you see the benefits of using BIM. You know? And without BIM, we could not have achieved this. Yeah, otherwise, it's impossible to do that. So this is a very interesting story of this canteen. Uh, they called me in Dubai. I said, oh, hello, I'm Mr. So-and-so calling from BBMP. So I said, what is BBMP? Because I'm, I never knew what his BBMP was. And he said, we wanted to build canteens. I said, no, no I'm not in the canteen business. <laughs> so then they said, you know, when can I come and see you? So they came to the factory and they told me about the project. What really interested me was five rupees and a 10 rupee meal is serving the poor people. And without us, this project would have never happened. Because for me, as a social entrepreneur, I always believed technology should transform the lives of a common man. Otherwise, <laughs> otherwise there's no use of technology. Correct? Because if you look at India, we're all fortunate, maybe 10% to 15% of the people sitting over here. But when you look at it, 80% don't have the basics. Okay? And that is what we need to bring in. And we need to use technology to transform those lives. And like we've done 68 schools, and 1,000 schools are coming in Kerala. Now we are done in Tamil Nadu one. Our government is working with us. We are also doing one school in Whitefield, where all the technology people are going to see that. And this will prompt the government to use this technology. And this is where you're going, right? So this is what you're doing. But in terms of where you're going in the future, you talk to us a little bit about this project called eHome. Today morning, I had to ask permission from my daughter, Sophia. She is here. Because this is her project. It's not mine. OK. What she's going to do is, I think she's launching in March. People can come and buy her house online. So it's like Flipkart. You go, instead of buying a, a mobile phone, you buy a house. Yes. Pradeep. And you can customize it. To Pradeep, yeah. So he's building a platform, e-platform, where we'll have hundreds of designs from various architects across the globe. Customers can come and customize it. You press it online, the order. We'll start manufacturing them in eight factories. And we will build this house in 60 to 90 days, anywhere in Karnataka. Moreover, it's a sustainable design, environmental friendly, a lot of energy saving concepts, because I cannot disclose further. And also, you can see these mobile panels. This is for safety you know, and security in the night. You, know, this, you can press the button, it closes, and you're safe inside. So it's a wonderful design from Rambol, from Denmark. And of course, done through your technology. Through Revit. OK. Fantastic. So as, anything that you want to say before you close? Huh. 
Fast forward India, that's the theme, right? That's what I want to do. I want to fast forward India because India is going to be the biggest market after China. And today, we sitting inside don't understand the value of the projects, what is going to happen in the next 20 years. There's no recession in this country. And what I'm here today is to work with everyone because we cannot fast forward India alone. You know, we need to have this collaborative effort. We need technology people, manufacturers, and uh, what we are facing in Krishnagiri is supply chain. Okay. Because today, we are producing six million square foot of buildings per annum. Company started in 2014. This year, we will be touching $200 million revenue. Correct? So it, it's an amazing... <laughs> and what we see is, because I was in Delhi yesterday, we have started the second plant in Lucknow, we are building a prefabricated mall in 21 months, which is 20 lakh square foot, 2 million square foot. The same company has done a mall in Cochin. It's taken five years. So see, from five years to 21 months. And I would like to yeah. show a video. Let's, let's roll that last video uh, where the Prime Minister talks about what he wants to do. Volume, guys. million affordable house banana chahte low cost 50 million house banana matlab bharat ke andar anek chote chote naye desh banana bahut sare duniya ke desh hain ki jiske yahan total 50 million house nahi hai itna bada kaam mujhe 7 saal mein karna hai aur jaisa faizal ne kaha nayi technology main zarur aapke yahan aaunga main dekhunga so that's so, what I, I was with him uh, two days ago in Delhi, and uh, today we are helping the government to change various tendering norms because I told them, you know, cities like Delhi, Polluted. we cannot continue to pollute anymore. It's becoming really not livable. And first thing I told them to do is, please bring in technology, make a equal competition because. Conventional construction coming into this urbanization in the cities is not possible anymore. So we need technology, we need to manufacture schools, manufacture residences, manufacture hospitals, and that's the future for India. They are very keen, they understand, and we all see a big change in our country. Thank you. Excellent. Thank you so much. <laughs> Wonderful hearing from you. Thanks so much for coming over. So folks, that was what this was about. Uh, we build the tools, but what's really gratifying for us to hear, my favorite part of AU is really hear from customers who are using our technology, sometimes in ways that even we hadn't visualized, you know, pushing the envelope of where we, what we can do with our technology. Some of these, some fascinating stories there. So I, I hope you enjoyed this as much as I did bringing this to you. Thank you so much. Thank you, sir.